Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's Doug here. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what to do if you feel like you can sing in your very low range, but as soon as you go a little bit higher or try to sing with a bit more power, it ends up distorting, breaking, straining, and basically you just can't continue and it just cuts out. I'm going to really try my best to provide you with a method that should get you at least singing a few notes higher. So let's get into it. So I'm going to sing the song Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran and I'm going to take it way down so the key's going to be quite low. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Okay, I would describe the pitch that I just sang that song at at a quite a low pitch, okay? Quite a low pitch. But what we're really gonna be focusing on here is what happens as we go a little bit higher and we sing a line like this. So I'll do an example. And darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. Okay? If you think your voice would struggle with seeing that and would do something like this. And darling, I will be loving you. And get very tight. To a 70. And continuously get tight. And even strain like this. And baby, my heart. <laughs> we're going to address that today. The step-by-step -step process that we're about to use is going to use a lot more support from the body using the breath. And we're actually going to use the breath more throughout the sound in order to get rid of the tightness that appears in the larynx position, the throat, and all just this general area. So as you sing this, you're going to feel like the sound's going to resonate more through the body and be less tight here. So again, another bad example, like a poor example, I should say. And darling, I will be loved. And when we go through the steps, it's going to sound more like this. And darling, I will. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is actually get your hands and place them up here in the rib cage. All right. So my stomach's down here. My underarms are up here. Not that high, a bit lower than that. So maybe a few inches lower than right up there. Okay. So your rib cage. Now, I'm going to put my head down, I'm going to breathe through my mouth, that's important, and my mouth's going to be open when I take the breath, like tall and open, it's not going to be like this. And what we're really focusing on here is getting the chest and the rib cage to expand outwards like that. Because if you're struggling and getting this to be very tight, you're likely lacking this in the, in the breath when you take the breath. Open the mouth. Now, did you see that my hands actually came apart like that? That's showing that my chest is actually expanding outwards, okay? So it's demonstrating that. So I'll do it again. So I'm gonna put my head down, open my mouth, take the breath through my mouth. All right, you can even do this. See, it's exactly the same, all right? Open the mouth. So the most important thing is just to feel the expansion there. If you feel like you can't get this expanding, that's the first thing that you need to focus on and really practice either doing it like this or like this. Experiment with putting your head lower. Basically do whatever you can to find the spot where that starts expanding. As soon as you've got that, that's the first step done. So the next step is actually doing a sigh, like a oh, a long sigh after taking the breath. So let's do the breath together. Whatever's more comfortable. Head down, open mouth. Then do this. Head up. Oh, okay. Oh. Now the most important thing here is that you feel a sense of 
the air flowing out of your mouth. So if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you should actually feel it against there, okay? Oh, oh, I definitely feel it. Okay, so very similar to the sigh, we're gonna do an oh sound. We're gonna do a scale on the oh, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, if you're a girl, try singing an octave higher than what I'm doing. So if I'm singing oh, try going oh, take the breath, just how we've done it together. Head down, open mouth. And then, in the similar fashion to the sigh, make an oh sound like this. Oh. Okay? The reason we did the sigh was actually so that you could practice the sensation of the air flowing out of the mouth. Remember, that is the key to getting the larynx to stop being so tight, the throat tightening up, and the distortion appearing in the voice. For you, at least. Okay, let's do the scale together now. We're going to go all the way up. Yep, we'll keep going up. I ran out of air there. That's actually quite normal if you do it this slow. Remember to get that sensation of the air's flowing. Might feel a lot of pressure down in the belly. That's normal. Head down for the breath. Okay, so we're up to the C4 now at the top note. Okay, so just like we did the side before, if I put my hand in front of my mouth, there'd still be air going through. I don't want to rush through it like this. Because with your issue, you're going to get tight right there. Try that one. benefit from taking a bigger breath. Good, just a few more. There's a lot of pressure down in the belly. We're just going to do one more and just note that as you get higher into the range, and you probably experience this, you do have to go louder. So it's going to be a bunch louder now. Still my head's down, I'm opening the mouth to take the breath. If I wasn't holding a guitar, I'd be doing this. Alright, so that's the end of the scale. If you at any point got confused, just rewind the video, 
give it another shot. Okay, so hopefully you did well doing the scale there. And you might be wondering what this has to do with singing a song. But actually, it has everything to do with how the technique's going to come out when you sing the song. I'll just do a quick demonstration of what I want you to do, and then you can try it. So, obviously, don't skip any steps. Make sure that you've got the breath really working properly, step one. You might even do with warming up with a few sighs. Oh. Oh. Just to remember the sensation. And then, why don't we start with an awe on the first note. Oh. Try and get the sensation of the sigh through that too. Oh. Okay. Now sing the phrase slowly. And the words are, and darling, I will. Just those four words. Oh, and darling, I... Okay. So what I did there was in the same sensation that I sang the or is the same sensation that I used for seeing the same words and darling I. Your mouth is open when you take the breath. And let's try the word loving. Oh, oh, love. You see how that works? Loving you. And if it breaks like this, loving you, you'll know. The reason it's doing that is because you're losing the sense of airflow on the word you, for example, there. Loving you. It's exactly like the scale. Now, what I'd recommend you to do is sing the songs that you want to sing or this example song that you're working on with me right now as practice to get the voice to move a little bit higher into a new comfort zone. And lastly, I just want to clearly outline that it is definitely possible to be able to improve this in your voice, okay? I've personally done it using a very similar method. You know, I personally did vocal lessons with a teacher, Phil Mafarage, and he helped me develop this part of my voice, and then suddenly I was able to access my range. Also, I've helped students of my own be able to get from their low range, the students who are stuck in the low range, to be able to get, you know, much, much higher with more power, because you're really trying to build the foundation of your voice so that you can sing anything, you know, this is the key. What we went over today is quite complicated, I personally think, so I really would recommend you to get vocal lessons. And I personally offer them on Skype, and if you're interested, you can have a look in the description below. There'll be some links to my website where you can book that in, or just contact me in general. I've also got a free course you can access and use. I think you'll find that very fun and useful. You can follow me on Instagram and send me a voice clip and I can give you a bit of an assessment and tell you what you're doing wrong or right. And in general, if it's your first time here or you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below. Give this video a like and leave me a comment on what you'd like for me to make in the future. All right, cool. So with that, I'll leave you to it. Bye.